now. It's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genovaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 7, 2020 Luke 9 verses 37 to 42 Verse 37 And it came to pass, that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. 38 And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. 39. And, lo, a spirit taketh him, and he suddenly crieth out, and it teareth him that he foameth again, and bruising him hardly departeth from him. 40. And I besought thy disciples to cast him out, and they could not. 41. And Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you, and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. 42. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down, and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, and healed the child, and delivered him again to his father. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy the words of Christ pointing to his death had brought sadness and doubt. And the selection of the three disciples to accompany Jesus to the mountain had excited the jealousy of the nine. Instead of strengthening their faith by prayer and meditation on the words of Christ, they had been dwelling on their discouragements and personal grievances. In this state of darkness they had undertaken the conflict with Satan. In order to succeed in such a conflict they must come to the work in a different spirit. Their faith must be strengthened by fervent prayer and fasting, and humiliation of heart. They must be emptied of self, and be filled with the spirit and power of God. Earnest, persevering supplication to God in faith, faith that leads to entire dependence upon God, and unreserved consecration to his work can alone avail to bring men the Holy Spirit's aid in the battle against principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and wicked spirits in high places. If you have faith like this, you will lay hold upon God's word, and upon all the helpful agencies he has appointed. Thus your faith will strengthen, and will bring to your aid the power of heaven. The obstacles that are piled by Satan across your path, though apparently as insurmountable as the eternal hills, shall disappear before the demand of faith. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. By Ellen G. White, Desire of Ages, page 431. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, it is with awe and reverence that we approach your holy presence because you are our Creator and our Father. Thank you so much for your messages through the daily, Abiding in Jesus Christ ministry. We pray for the abiding and the indwelling of Jesus Christ in each of us today. Thank you for answering our prayers for we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.